Hi, I'm Matthew. Today I would like to show you my collection of music and concert memorabilia. It just goes down very smooth, kind of like the orange cream soda. I have Barry and Carl, MC Frontalot, Jonathan Colton, Grant and Mahara, Paul, and Storm. Agomenta. Good morning, Matthew. It is Thursday. We have a rather short video today for two reasons. First off, I have to go upstairs and pack so I can see you not on the internet, but actually IRL tomorrow. And secondly, because I just borrowed Oblivion from my friend, and I really, really want to go back to playing it. So, quick video. Now, I was going over vlogging topics in my mind today. I was thinking, you know, what should I talk about? And I just decided to just go what's been go rolling around in my mind lately. So, I'm going to share with you a paradox that I like to call the Bob Paradox. So, pretend that you own a car. I know that you're not old enough to drive a car, much less actually own one, but just bear with me for a second. This car that you own is great. It's your absolute favorite. You love it. And because you love it so much, you actually gave this car a name. You call it Bob. But one day you notice that Bob is getting kind of old. It doesn't work the way he used to. But it's still in decent shape. It's still driving, just getting a little old. So every week, you take one part out of Bob and replace it with a brand new part. You take away a chair, you replace it with a new chair. You take away the engine, you replace it with the new engine. But each week, as you gradually replace Bob, you keep the old parts, and you put them in a storehouse somewhere. By the time a few years has passed, all the original parts that made up the original Bob are now gone, replaced by new parts. But it's happened so gradually that some of the new parts have been in there for years. Now you've kept those parts lying around, those old parts of Bob. So what do you do with them? You say, you know what? These aren't in such bad shape after all. So you take them, and you build a new car. Now you have two Bobs. One constructed entirely of new pieces, and one constructed entirely of the old ones. Which one is Bob? Now, for all I know, this question could have all kinds of, you know, philosophical resonance about, you know, identity and whatever. But all serious thinking aside, I just think it's a really cool question. Right now, I'm leaning towards the car that is the original parts being Bob, but I'm not completely sure, so I'd like to hear your opinion on it. Matthew, I have to go upstairs and pack, and then possibly play Oblivion all night long but I will see you actually tomorrow. Live long and prosper. Now this is strange, a Greyhound ticket from New Jersey to New York. I wonder what it could be for.